Hello friends and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks and today we're going to kind of take a little bit of a ride up and above second grade which is where I do a lot of my videos. We're going to talk about Harry Potter. Let's do a book review on Harry Potter. I'll show you the front of the book, the back of the book, the side of the book. We'll talk about Harry Potter. I'll tell you who this book is for, who it is not for. We'll talk about levels and all kinds of good stuff. Don't go anywhere by the way because I am going to do a special shout out. I've got 10 of my big subscribers left such kind comments in my last video. I even have a couple bonus. I think we got like 13 on there. I've got some awesome notes <coughs> that I found on the internet and we'll discuss those about Harry Potter. Also, I have most of the rest of the series and I do not have the final book with me right now. I've lent that one out. So all the rest of the books except one, the most recent, is right up here. And you guys can let me know in the comments, hey, do you want me to keep going with this series? Do you want me to just stop at the first book? Do you want me to do one whole uh, video per book? So you guys are kind of in, tr in control of this uh, channel here. And I want to make sure that you understand that when you put those comments down below, I really look at them, I listen, and I'll change the direction of the type of books I'm doing. So if you enjoy these Harry Potters and some of these upper level books, please leave those kind comments. I sure appreciate it. Okay, so let's dive in. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So this is book one of, I believe, eight books um, that complete the series. And I say complete the series because this series ran for roughly 10 years. And I believe that this series is done over. There's not gonna be any more books. Now, of course, I say that and every once in a while something will happen that will change that, but I don't think so on this one. So let's dive in. This is the book right here that started the whole sensation that is Harry Potter. And my goodness gracious, Harry Potter took the world by storm. Some of you watching this video may not have even been alive yet when this book uh, first came out here by J.K. Rowling, by the way. And um, I know it's a great story too, and she has a great story beside, behind herself. She was um, having a tough time getting this book published, and then when it finally did, it got a lot of traction and ended up being very popular and basically took her to fame, and um, she did a wonderful job of following up with all these uh, books behind it. So anyway, okay, let's get back to what we're talking about here. So Harry Potter, the Sorcerer's Stone. Again, I'm going to do a uh, book review of this guy. Normally, I read to you guys the first chapter. I'm going to change that for this one. I am going to show you the first couple pages. I'm going to give you an opportunity to stop the video and try to read for yourself and see if it's at your level because I do want to recommend this book and book series with a bit of caution. I've gone ahead and I have put levels on this guy. That is a V, a V for victory. And I even put a little five here, which I normally don't do, but I wanted to make it clear. This is like a fifth grade level book as far as the content, right? As far as the uh, how challenging the words are going to be to read. But also I want you to keep in mind that this is a book that has to do with kind of like witchcraftery, kind of has to do with magic. And, you know, even the author kind of says that the book has a lot of death in it. You know, one of the first things they talk about is Harry Potter loses both his parents. They die relatively young. He goes to live with his aunt and uncle and it's kind of a disastrous start. And then it kind of picks up steam and gets better and better from there. So it's kind of one of those books that some of the kiddos, even if you're in fifth grade and you're a very strong reader, it might not be a good fit for you, even though you can read it. So kind of take that and maybe talk to mom and dad, see if it's a good fit. Maybe read the first book with mom and dad and they can help you to decide if it's a good fit. And of course, there's going to be some of those uh, students out there that that won't be a problem for. Um, and a good test of that, in my opinion, is after you talk to mom and dad, even if you think it's a good idea, if you start having bad dreams, Hey, that is a big indication that this is not a good fit for you. All right, so look, there's the front of the book. Very cool. Beautiful artwork, by the way. This is a, a sturdy, firm book, and this whole series, I think this is probably the slimmest, skinniest of the books. They're really a hefty set here. All right, and there's our spine of the book. There's my proof, yep, year one or book one. And here's the back of the book back here. And then we have a little bit of a short summary right here that I'll read to us. So, Harry Potter has never been the star of the Quidditch team, scoring points while riding a broom far above the ground. He knows no spells, has never helped to hatch a dragon, and has never worn a cloak of invisibility. All he knows is a miserable life with the Dur Dursleys, his horrible aunt and uncle, 
and their ab abominable, abominable son, Dudley, a great big swollen, spoiled bully. Harry's room is a tiny closet at the foot of the stairs, and he hasn't had a birthday party in 11 years. But all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Owl Messenger, a letter with an invitation to an incredible place that Harry and anyone who reads about him will find unforgettable. For it is there that he finds not only friends, aerial sports, and magic in every form, in everything from classes to meals, but a great destiny that's been awaiting for him. If Harry can survive the encounter. All right, very cool, very cool. And like I said, I'm gonna kind of skip forward here a little bit and I'll just show you a page. And you know, this is what I tell my students, by the way, in class. And it is just kind of open it up, turn to any page whatsoever, find the beginning of a paragraph, if it's a big book like this, and just start reading. And just kind of see how it feels. You know, if you read this whole paragraph right here, and I'll stop it here and you can press pause if you want. And if you read this whole thing and you are only stopping on maybe one or two words to decode them and you can figure out what they are saying and also the context, meaning what they mean as far as that sentence structure goes and you can understand what's happening in the story, well then maybe it's a good fit for you at least as far as the level goes. So it's a big sturdy book. Okay, spoiler alert, I'm gonna turn a few, few pages here. You know, definitely not many pictures. This, this is a book that I almost call, it's sort of a reader's book. And what I mean by that is the students who I see reading this book are typically the ones who really love to read. And they want that tons of content with all these details. And uh, so anyway, awesome, awesome book. Let's put that guy aside for just a second. Let me pick up this guy. Oh, wait, I'm giving you a special flash into those uh, shout outs. So I'm going to hold still, hold still. We'll do that at the end. All right, so let's dive in here. So I went on Wikipedia and I found this information right here on Harry Potter. By the way, if you're a Harry Potter fan or if you turn into a Harry Potter fan, check out Wikipedia. There is all kinds of amazing information there about the books, about the, um, the different films that have come out and about the author and all kinds of awesome stuff. So let's kind of dive into this though. So Harry Potter is a series of fantasy novels written by British author J.K. Rowling. The novels chronicle the lives of young wizard Harry Potter and his friends Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all of whom are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraftry and Wizardry. The main story arc concerns Harry's struggle against Lord Voldemort, a dark wizard who intends to become immortal. Overthrow the wizard governing body known as the Ministry of Magic. And subject, <coughs> excuse me, and subjugate all wizards and muggles, non-magical people. Since the release of the first novel of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, by the way, Philosopher's Stone, right? And what are we calling this one right here? And the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm not exactly sure here if it was originally called the Philosopher's Stone and they changed it to the Sorcerer's Stone or not. But anyway. Um, on June of uh, 1997. So, wow, that was a little while ago, huh? The books have found immense popularity, crit critical acclaim, and commercial success worldwide. They have attracted a wide adult audience as well as young readers that are often considered cornerstones of modern young adult literature. As of February 2018, the books have sold more than 500 million copies worldwide making them the best-selling book series in history and have been translated into 80 languages. 80, not 8, 80 languages. That's amazing. The last four books consecutively set records as the fastest-selling books in history. Wow. With the final installment selling roughly 11 million copies in the United States within 24 hours of its release, within one day. That is just phenomenal. So the popularity here is incredible, and it just seems to continue to grow even though the book series is essentially over. Okay, so Harry Potter. So here is the um, different books in the year they came out. And again, they're calling it The Philosopher's Stone in 1997. That's this guy here. And again, I think the only difference is they're calling this one The Sorcerer's Stone. I think they changed that after they liked that uh, title of The Sorcerer's Stone a little bit better. But anyway, uh, Chamber of Secrets is 1998. The, the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Azkaban is uh, 1999, The Goblet of Fire in 2000, The Order of the Phoenix in 2003, The Half-Blooded Prince in 2005, and finally, The Deathly Hollows in 2007. So let's count them here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you guys help me, you Harry Potter fans. Is there one more than that? I have to say I've read the first five books and then I kind of fell off track there. So you let me know, is there one more? I don't know. All right, guys, so listen, I hope you liked this video. Hope it kind of helps you out. And if you're getting ready to read that Harry Potter, again, I strongly recommend check in with mom, dad, grandma, whoever you read books with, and uh, read the first one with them. Make sure it's a good fit for you, not just your reading level, but also you know how, you, how sensitive you might be to this type of a book. All right, let's get to our shout outs. And friends, let me tell you this. I absolutely love that my last couple of videos have had a tremendous amount of comments, a tremendous amount of thumbs up. I can't tell you how much that helps me and also just motivates me to make more and more videos. So thank you guys, the thumbs up are huge. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you hit that little bell, then you'll know every time I put a video out. All right, so let's look at this. Top 10 kind comment shout outs. Number one, cool kids. Hey, thanks cool kids. Appreciate the kind comments in my last, I believe that was my video on a healthy reading. I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, thanks for the kind comment. Number two is happy channel, crazy cool guy. Thank you. Pixel 5,000, oh, I'm sorry, Pixel made a kind comment about my 5,000 uh, subscribers, and I just wanted to say, Pixel, I really appreciate that. He said, thank you very much, and congratulations uh, to getting 5,000. Chris uh, uh, Marion, Marion, and she told me how to pronounce her name. I put that little line over I, so Marion, Mar wait, no, Marion, Marion, okay. Uh, Mr. Sun, who apparently is making a comic or a video of Mr. Sun meets Teacher Talks. I can't wait to see it. All right, Hydraulic Launch Coaster Fan Fast Lane Guy. That is a long YouTube channel name, but I love it. Thank you so much for uh, your kind comments. Rose Regal Regalada, Regalado, Regalado. All right, sorry if I said that wrong, Rose. And Wandly Wan Kindly Kayan. I think I said that right. I hope I did. I apologize if I didn't. Jack Pedrera, Pedrera, Jack Pedrera, thank you so much. Colin Powell, Roblox, Faith Garcia, and finally, uh, MLP Dancing on Rainbows. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I so appreciate you. And wait, finally, Animal World is out there going, What about me? What about me? Animal World, I saw your comments. Thank you so much, and I put you on the back because when I originally was looking at my comments, my computer said there was no more, and for some reason, your comments got hidden, and you've put some nice comments on more than one video, so Animal World, thank you. Hey guys, keep up the kind comments. I'll remember to do those shout outs. The thumbs up helped me a ton, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.